and I believe you can learn something from everyone, especially the masters, and I've known a few. Clint Eastwood triggered my film career with the Iger Sanction. When we weren't filming, he took the time to teach me about directing, lighting, shooting and editing, introducing me to every aspect of being a filmmaker. Father of the sexual revolution, Henry Miller, changed the face of literature with his first book, The Tropic of Cancer. Henry nurtured my writing ability by corresponding with me through 4,000 pages of letters over a course of four years. Additionally, he taught me to be myself because that's when a person is truly unique. Yuri Smaltsov worked with me at the ballet bar, choreographing many of my films. He taught me how important perseverance, hard work, and a positive attitude are at becoming great at something. I met Ken Marcus, a master photographer, when the Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous hired Ken to photograph me for the show. We later collaborated on a coffee table book, shooting for more than half a decade. During that time, he introduced me to a glamorous form of eroticism. Little did I know, he would go on to become another kind of master. But we'll get into that later. We all have the potential to be a master at something. What's my thing? Well. I wrote two best-selling books, How to Be the Best Lover Your Woman Ever Had and Secrets of Seduction for Women. These led to my creating a monthly column for Playboy magazine called Centerfolds on Sex. Every week, a different playmate would come to my penthouse in Beverly Hills where we would talk about men and sex for hours. Between the column and touring the entire world promoting my books, it seemed like all I did was talk about sex. How has seduction changed over the years? I think that people are trying harder, and I think that they are being a little bit more creative with each other. That's what makes for great sex, is that wonderful mental stimulation. I talked to several men, too, when I wrote this book, and they said, well, how did they expect us to know? No one ever told us. Our mothers didn't tell us how to make love. And the ladies that we've been with, they don't say, do this, do this, do this. So, you know, this book really tells them what we want. Because a woman <clears throat> wants a confident man in the bedroom and out of the bedroom. Confidence is a very big thing. It's that manly thing, you know, that it's we're manly. so attracted to anyway.